Now, NVC5 first warning weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. Pretty nice day as far as Mondays go. The weather cooperated. Better than last Monday, so that's an improvement. And uh, Wednesday looks great. Wednesday could be like a late season ski day if you're one of those people. Mm. So <clears throat> last Monday was the eclipse. It was. The I know. Were, the weather was yeah, fine. No, I know. I, that's not what I'm talking about. I was inside joke. But oh. let's take a look at what's <laughs> going on uh, outside right now. This is Storm Tracker <laughs> right now with a couple of showers coming on through. We'll zoom in here to well, where they are in the Adirondacks and show you that it's mostly the Tri Lakes right now. See if we can put a track on this thing and show you where it's going because uh, it's moving at about 30 miles per hour off to the southeast, something like that. So in the next hour or so, a couple of towns there that'll show up Lake Placid at 1030. So you're on deck North Alba, E-Town at 1105. Charlotte and Hinesburg due for a little shower. That's really all this is. That would be more like 1120, 1130 for uh, the Vermont side of Lake Champlain. So as we move along here, you'll see there's not a whole lot on the big time scan. Mostly just high pressure coming in from the Great Lakes. Beautiful for the next two days. There will be a few clouds in play, mostly tomorrow afternoon, but I think we'll be just fine as we go along. Burlington right now, that's Church Street, just fine. Dry 44 in Brattleboro where... Uh, still dry so it's really only northern New York with a couple of showers coming on through sunshine at wake up time tomorrow and then as we go through the afternoon some clouds north so basically from the northeast kingdom over the Adirondacks that's where the clouds will be sunny south and then on Wednesday we've basically got start to finish sunshine this is the morning and then in the afternoon there's a few high clouds so it could be Depending on the exact timing, a beautiful sunset. Sometimes those very high clouds create that. And then the showers really start to come in or try to come in by the time Thursday rolls around. But you'll see here if we add up all these rain chances, especially Thursday and Friday, we're not getting a lot of rain. Maybe a tenth of an inch, maybe two tenths of an inch, but it's not a soaker. And that's the key because uh, the lake's running high this time of year, as it always does. So are the rivers. So. We don't have a lot of room for a ton of water, and it doesn't look like, look like we're getting a ton. So hopefully we'll just scoot right through this week without any major flood concerns. 50 to about 60 tomorrow with the clouds kind of filling in in the afternoon for northern spots. Down the road, 63 in Brattleboro, 61 for Springfield. Pretty good. That's the brightest part tomorrow, brightest area. All of us have the sunshine on Wednesday till the clouds come in late, and then we've got those spot showers Thursday and Friday, and maybe even a little into Saturday. But overall, I think the weekend looks pretty good. Temperatures way up in the 50s. Monday of next week has sunshine, and as we go along, we've got, well, more upper 50s, low 60s early next week. So kind of on cruise control here, which is maybe not a bad thing for mid-April standards. Liz?